guys happy Friday welcome back to another weekly favorites we'll get right into it first up are these exfoliating gloves from Target I don't know if I spoke about these before but I had to self tan this past week and every time I self tan I use these beforehand to exfoliate my dead skin and if I have like some residual tanners to left on I find that these work better than anything else to get tanner off my body like when I'm using these in the shower I'll just put some um, like put them on obviously I'll put some body wash on and just like do circular motions and my shower water like completely turns orange like the tanner just dissolves immediately so I find it's super efficient because I've used some like sugar scrubs before and those are messier for sure and sometimes they leave patchiness on your body whereas these like depending on how much pressure you put down you can just get the tanner removed from your body super quickly I think they're less than five dollars from Target um yeah I just think they're really great if you have if you are someone that self tans a lot in the summer like we do um, I think it's just a really efficient way to remove tanner before you go in and do it all over again and I actually heard about these types of gloves from Leanne says if you watch her channel she did a whole self tanning um, routine I'll link it down below because I actually found it super helpful but she uses gloves like this and so I went and searched for some and these are really fantastic Okay, and then next I'll just do the product that's on my lap. It's our Trader Joe's Fine. So, I think we've talked about, <coughs> sorry, Kringles before on our channel. And we're from Wisconsin. And they're a Danish pastry from Racine, Wisconsin. But they ship them in to Trader Joe's, I think, all over the country, right? Yeah, wherever there's Trader Joe's. Um, like a few times a year. But this was a new flavor that we had never seen before it's the cheesecake flavor I can't show you what it looks like because it would be just like a mess to pull out of this bag this is what the bag looks like it's huge. it's like a ring pastry yes and it's just the best pastry um, if you can't if you don't eat it in like I think it's five days you can put it in the freezer and they freeze really well and then you just put it in the oven to warm up it's basically just like a flaky round pastry with filling in the inside and this is like straight cream cheese mm -hmm. basically it's not too sweet and it says it's like Wisconsin cream cheese so very Cheesy. Dairy heavy and cheesy and good. It's, it's so delicious. It's delicious. Highly recommend. We think it's a new flavor, mm -hmm. so we just want to tell you guys about it if you're into the Kringle. Okay, and next up is this Verst Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. We tried a few products from Verst, and this is the favorite one that I've tried. I think it's so good for a drugstore cleansing balm. Um, it, to me, it smells like clove oil. There's clove oil in here, which is like an antibacterial oil, I believe. And I love this formula because you only need a little bit and it turns to oil almost immediately when you press it onto your skin. It takes all my makeup off. It doesn't leave a weird sticky or like tacky residue on my face. I just think it works really well. It keeps my skin hydrated. I don't know what else you would want in a cleansing balm. Um, I haven't found one this good from the drugstore. So you can get this at Target and on the Verse website. It's really good. And really on Riley good. Rose now, I think. Oh yeah, they are on Riley Rose if you have one of those. We do in mm -hmm. our mall. Okay, and then next up, well, the last two are from And Other Stories, mm -hmm. but next up is this fragrance we got from there. I'm going to put it on. It's the And Other Stories Bell Size, I kept thinking it said Belize, but it's Bell Size Beat, which I don't know what that means, mm -hmm. perfume oil, and it comes with this little six millimeter, six milliliter bottle. It's so cute. And this is exactly what it says, it's a perfume oil. So when we first both put it on in the store with the tester, we were like, oh, this is like nourishing and thick. Yeah, it feels really nice. And we nice. didn't realize that it was an oil, and then on the box it says like alcohol free, just oil. And that's so cool, we think it's such a good idea because, mm -hmm. um, you know, no one really likes putting alcohol on their skin, but with fragrance it's sometimes a necessity for yeah. the roller balls or especially for the actual like perfume. Um, but this works really efficiently with just oil as like the fragrance carrier yeah so we're really it's impressed. pretty concentrated yeah it's pretty concentrated it doesn't last super long i will say but i think that's just um the fragrance load they choose to put in here it's not like extremely high but it's i don't know how, how would you so describe good. it oh what is it sandal sandalwood. In the box? it's definitely sandalwood yeah um for sure and hold we should have i know look yeah it okay so it says um, delicately scented with wild kumquats soaring over starry sandalwood skies. So it doesn't really give you like any specific notes, but I think it's heavily scented with sandalwood. Yeah, I don't smell the kumquats. I don't know what kumquats smell like. I mean, actually, we've had kumquats, but there is like anything. a warmth to it too. Yeah, it's like that a could warm, be from the sandalwood. A warm, fresh scent. Yeah, it's I feel like it's really suitable for every day. It's really good for the summertime. 
I don't know. It's they had so a lot good. of good options. They though. had so many good ones. I, think I it love was the dollars Twenty dollars, and they had the actual perfume that obviously has alcohol that was forty dollars. So very affordable. Yeah, definitely a really cute little bottle. We were really impressed. I definitely want to pick some other ones up. And then um, the last favorite is this ring from And Other Stories, and I'll insert a photo that I posted on Instagram stories of it, but I thought this was so beautiful. It's just like a crisscross ring, but I love how one of the crosses is thicker and one is more dainty. I don't know, just the combination of it is so pretty to me. Uh, I got this in a small. The rings come in small, medium, large. Um, which is kind of annoying, but the small fits me just fine, and it was only $20. Again, all their jewelry is nickel tested. We buy so much jewelry from them because it's so pretty and timeless, and I love it. I mean, I can still wear it when I wash my hands. It hasn't been tarnished or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think it's really, really beautiful, great for everyday wear. I'm obsessed. And that's it for our five weekly favorites. Kind of some random stuff this week. Yeah. Hopefully you guys had a good week, and we'll see you next week.